Well, it's a beautiful evening here at Brighton, probably a little bit breezy, but the weather for the weekend looks perfect for anything outdoors. But remember your sunscreen, I've got mine on. That's all for me tonight. Right now, back to you, George. Thank you, Jane. Great advice. And just before we go, a reminder of some major changes to 10 News from next Monday. And to explain what's happening, we're joined by Rebe Rebecca Morse, who's in the brand new 10 Newsroom on Hutt Street in the city. Uh, Rebecca, good to see you in your hometown. Yes, thank you, George. I'm very excited to be presenting a new half hour bulletin at 6.30, which is going to concentrate on the events which affect the lives of South Australians. Now, Belinda Hagen is also back in Adelaide. She's going to be at the helm of the five o'clock news. And Jane and Mark will still present the very best roundup of weather and sport. So, of course, George, that leaves you. Uh, it does. I'll be moving to Melbourne's 5 p.m. news with Helen Kapalos. And I suppose that brings to an end 20 years with 10 news in Adelaide. But uh, I've got to say, it's been an absolute privilege to present the news for the South Australian audiences since, can you believe it, 1991. But I've enjoyed the experience and I have uh, many, many wonderful memories of some great people. Indeed. Well, George, uh, we're not going to let you get off that lightly. We're going to turn back the clock to that very first bulletin on you the know. 4th of February, 1991, yes. This is the 10 Eyewitness News with George Dominican. Good evening. The United States suffered more losses in the Gulf War today. A giant B-52 bomber crashed in the Indian Ocean and two helicopters came down in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, on behalf of the whole news team, it's time for us to say good night and good luck.